conference schedule? Well, I think the easier thing to do is keep it at eight. It's not broke. Um, we're winning national championships in our league, um, playing a good non-conference schedule. I think, obviously, you'd have to figure out if you're going to play a Power 5 team or not if you went to nine. I think uh, the schedule would be good for either one, eight or nine, because you're going to go home and home in a four-year four, four year period. Um, so I don't know I don't know what it's going to come down to, but I, I, I anticipate it's going to be another three or four days, and they'll probably figure it all out. I, I really don't have a preference right now. I did. I wanted the nine, uh, but I've kind of changed my mind. I, I, I don't think it really matters. If you, if you played the nine-game schedule, would the SEC still say you have to play another Power Five team? Would that still be on the table? As of right now, it's still on the table whether they would say you'd have another one. And if you look at it, um, with our league, if you added another game, you're also adding eight more losses in the league. And, uh, and that's not to say we can't get beat by somebody outside the league, but you're guaranteeing eight, eight more losses in the league. And will that hurt us? Um, probably not as bad because they're going to expand the playoffs, so probably not as bad. But um, And they are, one of the compelling arguments was that it's not broke. We're playing eight, eight right now. Now, we are going to end up being a total SEC and not a West and an East. Uh, but we're playing for the title right now. and So I don't know what they're going to do, but uh, whatever it is, we'll – be fine with it. I just wanted the kids the opportunity and the fans to go to Tennessee and Tennessee come here in, in a in a four year season or go to Georgia and Georgia come here in a four year. Uh, I think it's good for the game. What changed your tune a little bit? You said you came in thinking nine and now you coming out thinking eight? Well, no, I, I, not necessarily. I, I think there was some good uh, talk about both of them, you know, eight and nine. But the one that hit me was, you know, it's not broke. You know, we're, we're Georgia's one of the last two years, I believe Alabama maybe before that. And, and uh, so that, that made a lot of sense to me. Um, but they're changing everything, you know. It's not the West and the East anymore. So now you're going to have a little bit more equality off of past records. Uh, so I, th I guess it all just depends on who you like in your pod. You know, if you had a three, three, uh, four, fourteen pod, and you like, you know, and I think it's going to be a little bit of proximity, you know, and like I believe we'd play Texas, you know, because that bring back that rivalry, prob probably Missouri, and then whomever, maybe Ole Miss or somebody, and and uh, I like that, you know, me personally, I like that that schedule. I don't know if I'd want to play a whole bunch of Power Five teams after playing a nine-game SEC. You know, we played ten, yeah. two, three years, my first year. You know, and and uh, yeah. I was looking for them other three. Where are they? You know, <laughs> they never showed up. Sam, do you feel like, in terms of nine, you're informed enough about the future? There's so many unknowns. CFC, what they're going to play, who's going to be in it, qualification, standards for that. Um, I. That one I don't. Okay. I don't know. I, I I don't know all that, but I know that's going to expand and and uh, give us an opportunity to maybe get another one in the playoffs. Maybe yeah. maybe two. Yeah. For that matter. <laughs> Are you guys that? done? The coaches for y'all today? Yeah. Yeah, we're through. I think the basketball's still meeting, and they'll be out here in a minute. Because if they weren't, I wouldn't be here standing talking. <laughs> <laughs> Did you have any ideas for the, the whole guardrails discussion? I mean, we've heard a lot of coaches uh, pitch a lot of ideas, spitball a lot of things. What are your thoughts on guardrails in terms of transfers, NIL, some obvious potential solutions? Uh, well, I think Congress is going to have to step in and help us with, with NIL. They're, I don't think anybody can, because, you know, we've got to combine because different states have different rules. You know, at some point, we've got to combine uh, so we can figure some of this out. Um, I think the portal's open too, too often and too long. And uh, uh, I think a kid knows whether he's going to transfer or not. I don't think he needs 45 days to figure it out. And uh, so I think I would – 
go for a two-week window and you either get in or you stay, stay with your program. I think that's fair to the kids. I'm not looking for fairness to the coaches. I'm looking for fairness to both. Uh, right now, May for a coaching staff is miserable. Um, you're out trying to find high school athletes and then you're, you've got a coordinator and a position coach back on campus with OVs. Now we benefited from that. I'm not, but uh, I would hate to be a, an, an assistant coach right now because they're, they, and, and then June ramps up even more than what May was. So it's a tough life right now. I think, I think closing uh, opportunities to get in the portal a little bit more and, and closing the time, uh, the length that you could be in the portal, I think it would help everybody, and I don't think it would hurt the kids a bit. Coach, what would you like to see from your quarterback this season? Well, you know, we've got a new offense. He's done a nice job of learning it in spring ball. Uh, I think just continue to improve his leadership. Uh, he's gotten himself in great shape. Uh, but he is our guy. He's our leader on both sides of the ball. I mean. He's the guy. Uh, we make, we have great leadership on defense, great leadership on offense, but he's the man on both sides. He's got to own that, which he's doing, and and uh, and just to can, continue to get better. And he 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 got such a work ethic that that's what he's going to do. Uh, Sam, how do you feel about how the tampering rules have been enforced the last couple of years? I don't know. Have they been? <laughs> I don't know if anybody's gotten. You know, tampering. I. I mean, I think it all goes back to whatever your definition is, you know, is, is calling a high school coach and saying, hey, um, is Jimmy going to go in a portal, you know, is that tampering? Well, by definition, it is, you know. Uh, calling the kid himself, it is, things of that nature. Um, I guess it's hard to prove, you know. I just, I just call coaches. If I feel like it's happening to us, I call them. However, once you make that call, it's already too late because the kid's already gone. You know, so I don't know how you, I don't know how you stop that one either. Would you like to see more coaches name names publicly and sort of self policing in the public square? Yeah, I think you know, I think coaches that want to do now. Uh, you know, the business is all about if you if you make somebody mad, then you cut that. You cut that possibility of job opening, job market off of your resume, you know, and I think that's a little bit of um, we've got to um, we got to figure that out a little bit because uh, it's out there, and you know anybody comes in your your office and says, "Hey, I'm going to go in the portal," and the next day they already know where they're going. It's probably had a conversation or two before that. Probably didn't get married that way, you know. There's a show on TV, so I think you can get married in 30 minutes, but portal, I don't think it works that way. Yeah. Isn't there one? Yeah, married at first, first sight. Yeah, married at first sight. <laughs> Sam, how important are facilities now in terms of recruiting? For, for a long time, that was the arms race, but now NIL's thrown a different wrinkle the last year or two. Mm. I'd say if you got enough money, you, they'd be happy living in a tent, you know. But, uh, facilities are always going to be important. Um, but NIL, what you, what you can do NIL is right now is is the driving force for a lot of athletes. Not all, but a lot. Coach, has the NIL helped Arkansas quite a bit in recruiting, or is it? Just well, kept we, you in the race. We've got it, and uh, we're using it. Uh, so, yeah, probably more kept us in. You know, probably probably that way more than uh, got us over the top. But we still have to recruit hard and those things. But uh, it certainly has kept us kept us alive in that have aspect. You, have you found that that helps NIL money helps you more in the portal or more with the high school recruits? It used to be the portal. I th I, uh, and I think it, the answer is probably yes, the portal. Uh, even though high school is, is is coming up a little bit more than just like anything two years ago, the portal, I mean, the NIL was so much different than it is two years later. It's so much more now. And so, um, but yeah, uh, I'd say portal first and then the high school kids, they're, they're very aware of it as well.
I feel like, like that. How that dynamic work in the locker room, just having money in the locker room and having disparate amounts of it in different guys? Well, it's like anything. I work for Butch Davis of North Carolina, and that's before your salaries got posted. And he got us all in there, and he said, hey, if you or your wife talks about how much money you're making, I'm going to fire you. And I looked at him, and I was going, well, you hell, I ain't going to say nothing, you know. And, <laughs> and But I understand why he said it, because, that, you know, you talk about a bunch of young kids, He's getting this, he's getting that, and then you talk about grown men, and it's, it's all about separating. It's all about separation of the team, separation of the staff, all the, because money will do that. And so um, it's hard. I mean, it really is. It's hard, but I think you just continue to educate and talk to them and have opportunities. You know, I, I'm a guy that thinks if you don't, nobody in the stands knows your name, your image, your likeness, then I don't know why you're getting name, image, and likeness, you know. So you got to do something on the field, and, and once you do that, then we got we got plenty of it. Do you feel like that market is kind of stabilizing a little bit? Where you no. Could, but no. No. <laughs> no. It's not like a better I idea of what's going up like, a, like the Empire State Building, man. No. And that's why we need, we need help. We need Congress to step in and and help all of us that the, the i mean we're gonna run out and women's sports is going to be affected by non-revenue sports is going to be affected well, nobody wants that and so we just got to figure out some type of solution and by golly i don't have it i don't know that but i know we can't we cannot lose women's sports or non-revenue sports or anything like that because well it, it's not fair i walked in a little bit late here um, given given your uh, quality of answers, could you could you uh, refresh what you say about gambling? Do you mind what where you where your concern level is with that? Well, it's just it's uh, I don't I can't, I can't remember. I think 38 of the 50 states have mobile app gambling, you know, yeah. and so obviously you can't gamble on sports, and uh, so you it's just. The education um, in some states you can be 18 and do it, and some it's 21. To me, it'd be you know they need to educate, and they're going to come in this summer. A firm from that we talked to today and talked to our team about it. You, where where do you where is your concern level with it, especially given That's not recent high. revelations? No, I mean it's not high, but there's a concern. I think everybody everybody in there there's a concern. I mean you got 125 kids on your team, uh, but um, I think we've educated we educate them every semester when they come in and our team rules and all that. But I do think uh, we, we're going to have a little bit more come in in July and August and come talk to the team. Sam, if y'all go to three permanent rivals, you expect Texas to be the leader? I do. You do? Yeah. Would like to. And that, I mean, I'm not calling them out. I just think it'd be great for yeah. Arkansas and Texas. But a natural rival. That's too, right. To me. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I think probably Arkansas might be a little less of a rival for Texas than Texas is a rival for right. Arkansas. Yeah. 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 But, yeah. Um, um, Still, it's proximity. Yeah. You know, I, hell, I'd like to go play Oklahoma too. You right. know, they're they're close, uh, but I know they're a great program. But, but they're close. I think it'd be good for the fans and all those things. Would it be OU Texas A and M? Would be the most natural rivalry. Uh, I don't want to lose the Missouri game, yeah. so okay. you know, it might be Missouri and Oklahoma. And, probably Ole Miss. I mean, A and M would have to go with Texas and Oklahoma. I, I would think, right. and then I don't know who else, maybe Missouri. So you feel pretty strong. rank the factors going into the eight versus nine argument that you think are being considered the most. What, what would you say? For me, it would just be what's your what's your non-conference schedule. You know, if you go to nine, uh, if you go to nine, you you know you're gonna play number three, six, and seven in the country in non-conference, I'm all against it. Uh, but you think there's thought to getting rid of the P5 requirement if it goes tonight? Th there's thoughts. That, that hadn't been decided yet, but certainly there's thoughts. And I, I think the fans will be okay. I, I'm thinking they'd be okay with it because you're adding another 
Brad, see it change because you're adding another another SEC game, but you're also adding eight more SEC losses, and I, I don't I don't know that every year guaranteed, and I don't know that the conference wants to do that or not. Last one. Besides on that, how that relates to the college football playoff to the eight versus nine debate, and well, how, you know, I think it's different because you got twelve now, so you know, going. So I think if you're going to step out of the comfort zone of eight, then maybe this is time to do it. Since it's going to twelve, you know what I mean. So I don't know. I, right now, we're you know our league is winning national championships in football and. So part of you wants to keep it like it's been, you know, but part of you also for the fans and all that and getting to play all these different teams home and home that we had in the past. Of course, you can do it eight, eight or nine. There's something to be said about that and having the three permanent. I think that'd be cool. There's, there's your three rivals right there, and I think that'd be pretty cool. Mm -hmm. 12 at large just make sense? No automatics? Man, I don't know all that. Dude. <laughs> Coach Sa or Mr. Sankey will be coming out here in a minute. I don't, I'm just trying to really get on this plane. Uh, <laughs> he said he'd be open.